subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how k nearest neighbors used in classification and regression models. So, in our last class, we clearly discussed about how k nearest neighbor works and some of the concepts and the terminology which we use in this class were already discussed in our previous classes. Our assumption here is uh, you have watched all our previous classes. So please follow our playlist for better understanding of the subject. Uh, the link for playlist is provided in the description below. So coming to our class, the example data set which we considered in our last class, the same example we are using here for uh, explanation of this how k nearest neighbors used in classification and regression data sets okay coming to our example this is our training data set in this we are having two inputs height and age weight is uh, an output uh, here the weight value is uh, a continuous values means this data set is a regression data set uh, so the discussions about regression and classification models were clearly discussed uh, previously if you are having a continuous values uh, we will call it as regression models. Uh, so this data set is a regression data set. Uh, so how our k-nearest neighbor works on regression data sets is let's take this as testing data set. Here we have given input uh, height and age is, age is given. We have to identify the weight. Uh, so this height and age is plotted in two dimension like this. X axis taken as age, height is taken in the y axis all our data points here we are having 10 data points 10 data points are plotted like this let's take our testing data point 5.5 is the height and 38 is the age it comes here this green point is our testing data point so how our k nearest neighbor works is let's assume that k is equal to 2 it will pick the two nearest neighbors from the training data set this is our testing data set. It will identify two nearest neighbors in the training data set. Let's assume that 1 and 5 are the nearest data points in our training data set. So 1 and 5th point is our nearest data point. So what's the values of weight? 77 and 72 are the values of weight for 1 and 5. So how it works on regression models is it will take the average of those points. So average of those points means 77, 72. What's the average? 77 plus 72 divided by 2. It will come around 74.5. So the prediction of KNN here is 74.5. So how it works in regression models? It will take the average of the nearest data points. If k is equal to 5, it will pick the 5 nearest neighbors and, will and it will take the average of those uh, weights. Uh, that is how k nearest neighbor works on regression models. Uh, as we are implementing our uh, all our models in Python, in Python there is a class in SQL Learn package. We are having a class called k neighbor regressor is a class which is particularly implemented for regression models. Uh, regression data sets uh, if you are using a regression data set if you want to identify continuous value please go with this class if your data set is a classification data set uh, KNN can be applied for both binary classification and multi-class classification any kind of classification class uh, data set uh, we can go with a class called K neighbor classifier separately implemented for classification data in SQLR so what it will do in regression models it will take the average now let's take an example and understand how it works in classification data set here we are taking binary class classification we will extend this model to multi-class also so let's take an example binary classification this red points are called positive class points and this green points we call it as the negative class points let's take the take a testing data point this black point we call it as testing data points Let's assume that k is equal to 2. So what our k nearest neighbors will do is it will identify the two nearest data points in our training data set. Uh, so the two nearest data points are positive, positive. Both of them are positive. So our model predict it as a positive data point. Uh, let's take one more example. Take this uh, testing data point. Uh, this testing point, uh, let's take k is equal to 5. 
if you take k is equal to 5 what our model will do is it will identify five nearest data points so the five nearest data points two are positive points three are negative data points so which one is having the majority class here negative class is having the majority data point so our model pick predict it as negative data point this testing data point is predicted as negative data point so in classification what our k nearest neighbors will do is it will pick the majority class it will pick k nearest neighbors and in that it will pick the majority class as predicted value now we'll get so many questions what if k is equal to even there is a chance to get a tie between positive and negative class how to deal with this situation there are so, so many ways to deal this situation one of the way is one of the way is let's take this example data point let's take k is equal to 2 means our data model will identify two nearest neighbors so one is positive one is negative so how to deal this with this situation there are so many ways one of the way is use the first nearest neighbor here in this situation first nearest neighbor is a positive class so pick the positive class as predicted value this is one of the way but in SKL learn k nearest neighbors is not classifier is not using this model so what's this model is pick the nearest first nearest point as our predicted value if you got a tie between positive and negative class what we have to pick we have to pick the first nearest class as the predicted class so he, here in this example positive class is the first nearest data point to our testing data point that's why it will pick as positive class but in our k nearest neighbors k neighbor classifier will not use this implementation what it will do is it will take it will use the least class label as the predicted value if you got a tie between positive and negative class what it will do is it will take the least class label what's that mean is suppose negative classes are taken as zero positive classes are taken as one which one is the least class label zero is the least class label so this more this class will is implemented like this it will if you got a tie what it will pick it will pick the least class label our model will predict it as a zero means negative class okay because this is not the right way to give chance to negative class least class label so that's why always use k is equal to odd value don't take k is equal to even value because this is not the right way to give chance to least class label so always choose k is equal to odd value the same concept can be applied for multi-class classification suppose take a, a three class classification zero is one class one is one class two is another class here how many classes are there three class classification let's take an example k is equal to 10 means our dead our KNN will identify 10 nearest neighbors out of that two or zero class four or one class four data points of second class we got a tie between one and two so what's our what's our model will do it will pick the majority class but in majority class we got a tie between one and two classes which one will be picked it will pick the least class label here one will be taken into consideration so our model will predict it as a class one okay this is how our knn is implemented in sklearn this is how knn works on classification and regression models hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you